How you doing everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just doing a little shop sorting out here. I'm actually looking for a couple of things and huh, confused. I've uh, been busy and been real busy. So hey, I got something to share with you all. And uh, well, I think you'll like this. So let me sit you down here. Okay, you guys kind of sorted out there. All right. So I gotta say, oh, let me get my chair sorted out here. Um, <laughs> First and foremost, I guess I have to share a little bit of information with you all. As you've seen by now, my books are open. And I want to touch base on that again real quick here. Uh, knives, I am not 100% sure how many knives I'm going to offer each month. But it's going to be a variety of everything. Um, and I have to say real quick, if you think you want a knife and uh, you haven't seen it available as of yet, uh, shoot me an email. Tell me, hey. I'm interested in a chef's knife and I noticed that those haven't been available yet. Let me know because what I can do is I can actually just maybe just say, okay, here, I'll put you down. I'll open it up uh, so you can buy a knife. You can buy one chef's knife or one Santoku um, or, you know, one Skinner or something like that. And then I'll, I'll adjust the books accordingly. That's the reason why I'm starting to do that more and take control of the sales of knives versus making the knives and, and having somebody else sell them. Another example is for the Warrior Poet Society. I can control the inventory a lot better. Either myself or my daughter will just jump on the website and add or subtract something and change it. So do that. But just be patient because I'm going to try to keep on it the first week of every month, letting you guys know that, hey, here's a new order. Here's a new amount of knives to buy. Uh, so just do that. But this video is about a new Coyote Works knife. Yes. At the recording of this video, the knives are done. I finished two. And one I am actually presenting to Casey this weekend. Yes, you're watching this on a Friday, October 11th, and I pre-scheduled this a while back, but the knives are done, and I am out at the second annual Coyote Works Overland Rally with Casey and a bunch of other folks, and hopefully we're having a good turnout, but I am going to give Casey a new knife. Him and I have talked a little bit about coming up with a new knife design and something smaller. So in the Northwest Overland Rally, uh, he got to look at a knife idea, and he's like, hey, I like that. I like this. Just do this, this, this. I showed him some other ideas. He's like, run with it, Chad. So here it is. Yes, that's right. I have one of the two knives, only two knives made so far. This is the second annual Coyote Works Rally uh, unveiling. This is the Coyote Pup or the Coyote Works 2.0. I'm not sure what we'll call it, but it is made out of uh, 316 stick. Inch, uh, inch and a half stock uh, D2 steel. This is D2. I am working now to be able to swap everything back over to D2 because D2 is a little bit more readily available for me to purchase. This year so far, last year and a half, I've had a real hard time grabbing a hold of CPM D2. I like CPM D2. It's easy for me to work with. I'm very happy with the results and I like the, the end product I give you all. But it is really hard to get a hold of crucible steel, especially at a reasonable price. And that's led me going back to D2. Uh, so at the making of this video, I am still kind of working with a supplier right now and figuring out what I'm going to do. But it looks like D2 is going to be my standard steel for all of my knives, the standard steel. I'll still be offering uh, CPM S35VN as well as CPM 154, the crucible versions of those. I still want to stick with the stainless steel crucible steel and because I don't make that many in a year I buy the stock ahead of time and I keep inventory up on the shelf in the back there so I usually have enough to do you know six or eight kitchen knives in the year uh, or at least I have enough notice that I can start buying and replenishing what I'm using for your all orders anyhow getting back to this uh, the Coyote Works knife Casey opted uh, he wanted the acid stone wash finish in the olive drab canvas micarta scales as well as the coyote brown and the tech lock sheath. But as you just saw, the Coyote Works knife has something new on it. And there it is. This is the new Coyote Works uh, design. This is going to be the custom pin that comes in all the Coyote Works knives now. That is cool. This is going to be what it is. Hopefully the camera's going to focus on it. There it is right there. What is really nice is it lends itself to be really, really comfortable in the hand. It's a lot smaller and a lot lighter than the Coyote Works uh, bush knife or survival knife, camp knife, the 1.0. Uh, so that will really work well for especially you gals, you wily coyotes out there. 
I've actually had a couple of e emails from some young ladies that uh, wanted to see uh, you know, a Cotty Works knife. They wanted to get a hold of one. They were thinking about buying one, but they were concerned that they were a little bit too big for them. I never asked their stature or anything like that, but I kind of, I conveyed that to Casey. And I had some of you fellas asking about that too. Something a little bit smaller to be able to carry around with you a lot easier out in the field. Also, this would work really well if you invert the tech lock and you carry it this way on your packs you'll be able to carry it like that and pull it in and out because some of you wear backpacks with waistbands and you don't necessarily want a knife on your waistband. So you could do that as well. But I wanted to share this with you. This is the new knife. The unveiling is actually taking place this weekend down in Oregon, but I wanted to make a video especially for you all so you can see it. I did this one. This is going to be Casey's, so nobody else has seen it um, till now. So Casey's getting presented to it this weekend. But I went ahead and made another one, and this one was a homeless pup. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this one, but this was done in black walnut. I did in black walnut with the pin on it still and the acid stone wash. Oh, and you'll see that jimping right across there. It's really nice for your thumb. It really works well. It's not too aggressive. It's got a choil on it still, nice flat grind, a good drop point right there. Full tang, but really good curves. Really good curves on, on this, and like I said, it fits really nice in the hand. I did this one in olive drab with the tech lock, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this one or if I'm going to keep it. Uh, tentatively right now, I think I might just use it to show off and uh, show people, let them get their hands on it to see if they like one or not. And then I might keep this for myself because ultimately in 2020, I'm hoping to have one knife of everything I make. Every design I make, every knife I have, I am going to have at least one of because as you saw, I had that really awesome Pelican case that Pelican had sent me, uh, thanks again to John P, um, that they sent me. So I'd really like to put that to use and have at least one sample knife of every knife I make. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, but that means I have to be super busy because I think I have somewhere around uh, 16 or 18 knives, something like that I've ever made at one point in time, every style or design that I've made for somebody like you. Uh, so I got my work cut out for me. But anyhow, I wanted to share this video with you. So if you are missing out on the fun, be sure to check out the books on CK Knife and Tool because these knives will go up for sale. I'm pretty sure they'll probably go up the 1st of November. They're not going to go up for sale on October. They will probably go up for sale in November. Um, I'm going to put some pictures out on social media as well as pictures and video here to share with you all. But Keep an eye on the website in November and uh, see if there's uh, two or three of these knives that will be available by then for pre-order. Again, I don't think anybody's going to be getting their knives this year. Uh, the, knife, the video is coming out now. It's uh, mid-October and I'm still quite busy and I got a lot of stuff pulling at me. So if you do order a knife, just know that you're getting on board. You're getting in line just like you did previously in 2018 to 2019. You're getting in there. You're getting your knife. So come the first of the year, I start the production and I kick them out to you. If I have the opportunity, I will probably work on some throughout the winter, but they won't be mailed until after uh, January 2020. So everybody, thank you very much for all the support. Thank you for all the subscriptions. That kind of stuff helps tremendously. And I've said it in other videos, it, it, is, it is cool. And you know what, it also tells me that uh, a subscription, you know, even if it's just for a few videos that I've made that you really like, you like the content or the personality of any creator, subscribing to them tells them hey you know i support you just by doing that just by that or you know giving me that thumbs up or leaving a comment down below saying hey looking forward to grabbing a knife or hey that really looks like a cool design or uh chad you really need to get a new hat because we don't like the chicago bears <laughs> something but uh, it does help it does help with all that youtube analytic junk and everything else so you all have a good one remember like share subscribe all the good stuff keep me from the bottom of the youtube bucket would you? Please? Please? Have a good one. Bye.